Welcome back. So, um, what am I doing today? Um, so, there's a few things I want to just sort of chat through, um, and I'm effectively doing the Speedo Binnacle Dash, um, lower dash rail padding thing, um, uh, switches, steering column and a few other bits and bobs uh, and I'll show you that all once I've done. Uh, I actually spent probably eight hours yesterday um, messing around with the dash pad, the binnacle, um, searching for things. Um, so what I was searching for, and I knew I'd taken it off and powder coated it, um, was the um, steering column bracket that goes on the um, uh, on the bottom of the dash uh, mid rail dash rail? Um, I looked everywhere for it, absolutely everywhere. Now I, I had a chrome one, um, but the chrome ones were I can't remember where I got that from. But I, I had a chrome one sitting in there. And I remember seeing them both together and I could not find it. Um, predominantly the chrome ones are for Mark 1 to Mark 2 and then the some Mark 2s and the Mark 3s have got the blacks. Um, but I, I remember having it powder coated uh, and I remember seeing it in there. And then I worked out, I borrowed it for the Magwick because uh, I didn't have a chrome one at the time and I completely forgot. Um, so I've just had to Put the chrome one on the magic and take this one off so now i can fit that so another conundrum i had um because i don't remember taking it off um and i haven't got that many photos and the video is not clear enough so um i always thought when i was i'll just take you off and show you this so um i always assumed that all minis had one of these on top of the dash rail um, to to support that or to, to give that some strength um, and then this bit goes um, underneath between that and the um, pedal box um, so I started looking yesterday I, I tried fitting them together but these holes didn't seem to be lining up properly with the holes that are on the uh, dash rail now uh, I had a look at uh, a few websites, Summerford Mini Spares, and apparently, well, according to them, um, anything. So these were used from fifty nine onwards, but without a uh, steering lock. No, sorry, with a steering lock. So predominantly, these ones are used without them. Um, if there's no steering lock on the car now mine um because my key is on the switch panel um i don't have a steering lock on the steering column so uh there's a load of confusion so now i know i've got to fit that without that uh because i don't have a steering lock um and the uh, and, and all they do is just two bolts go through there um high tensile bolts uh not the um what they called not the um oh, i can't remember what they're called now you know these things um the shear bolts i say the shear bolts i don't need to actually use them because uh, they weren't used um so there's me uh steering column uh if you remember a couple of uh, videos ago I kind of sanded it all back and just give it a, a, a couple of coats of um, matte, satin matte black or satin black uh, hammerite and it's actually come out really well so I'm sure it's going to get battered again. Um, 
and so yeah uh, I've got the accelerator pedal to fit uh, I actually just need to see if I've got the little um, uh, sleeve thing that, that hooks over the top of that to stop the cable popping off um, I'm sure I've got a spare but if not I'll order one um, so another thing I wanted to show you so my switch panel um, is got two switches of the choke heater and the ignition ignition switch in the middle uh, so it's got the chromed surround or bezel now i ordered i mean if you can i don't know whether you can see that um it's battered you know i would say that's probably the original um so i thought right i'll order another one um from mini spares this i don't know what they were thinking when they made that i mean when you when you look at them both like that this one's thinner that one's thicker um it's actually that being thicker gets in the way of the switches going in um it's got some sort of it looks like it's been sprayed with uh, silver hammerite um they reckon it'll polish up but you're never going to get that polished up to look like that so uh, i've asked on a few of the facebook groups um if uh, anyone's got one that's in a better condition than mine um but uh i would i i'm i'm, I'm definitely not going to be fitting that one it's 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 awful absolutely awful so yeah, uh, if I can't find a decent one, then I might have to send that off to be re-chromed, maybe. But I can always retrofit that after. Um, yeah, so yeah, so I'm going to get the steering column on. Um, maybe the gas pedal. Oh, sorry, not gas pedal. Uh, accelerate pedal, and then I'll just show, just run through what I've been doing. Um, so yeah, I'll see you in a bit. All right. That was a bit of a nightmare, uh, but yeah, so uh, I've got all that in. Just going to show you what um, I've been getting up to the last 10 hours. Um, and what else was it going to say? Oh, yeah, I was going to show you two secs. Right, so. Best place to probably through here a bit better. So, obviously, the centre binnacle is in. All wiring directed where it should be. Steering column in, uh, accelerator pedal, uh, mid dash rail. A uh, heater's just sat on my cordless for now. I still need access into there. Um, <clears throat> I must say that headline is looking mm -mm -mm. very good. Oh, yeah. Um, so, <clears throat> old interior light. Oh, I'm going to try very hard to clean that up, uh, it's original. Uh, mini spares do do new ones, which look very nice. Would look very nice in my car. But I'm trying to keep things that I can original, so yeah, I'll uh, see how clean I can get that. So, with this car, so I have got uh, front and rear heated screens. Not standard in a Mark 3S, uh, definitely not the front screen. So uh, when the wiring was uh, sorted out by David Wilson, I got him to add the cables into the looms for front and rear heated screens, USB, which I've mounted underneath there. And then I've got the heated screen uh, switch, which does both. Uh, so they both come on together. Um, and what he's actually done, if you can see this, uh, so there's the correct fuses, etc., for the heated screens and the USB. And then uh, there's also a timer on the heated screen. So uh, I can't remember how long, but they will automatically turn off. So yeah, hidden out of the way. Uh, I was going to have that on the driver's side, but um, it, it just weren't going to really look right. Um, yeah, so um, obviously demist uh, vents in and the 
uh, the metal grill bits for the top. I did wrap a bit of the vinyl over the metal part of that on both of them. Um, heater pipes all run in, not connected. I've run new. So I've got obviously the washer pump, which is obviously a manual. I've run new uh, tubes for that. Uh, what else? Uh, 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 what else? What else? What else? I think that was it. I've just got the um, uh, rev counter to go um, on the dash, which I will do uh, once the steering wheel's in or on. Uh, just so I can make sure it's in the right position for me. Uh, nothing done under here at the moment. Um, obviously got my new tubes in. Um, everything's connected behind there. Got me choke cable, accelerator cable, and my uh, heater cable. Uh, so I'm almost ready to start putting stuff together in here now. Uh, I've just got the remote uh, selector to go on underneath. Uh, I'm going to take that out. Um, now I've got the engine in, I can get the hubs off, drive shafts in. do need to look at them as well. Uh, and then I can get all the brake pipes and everything connected on. Uh, which... I was just thinking about that. Oh yeah, I can still get that one through there, so that's fine. Um, and, 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 yeah, then I can get that one, get all that connected, then I could probably fill up the brake lines and clutch lines, um, and maybe the hydroelastic. So other bits I've got to do, so I've still got to sort out the drive shafts, uh, which I'll probably put through the sandblast cabinet. Um, these were the old Mankey uh, sun visors. I will keep them um, for somewhere in the future. Um, but I've got new ones, obviously. Uh, and I didn't realise that these had these brackets or pins. So I need to put them through the sandblast cabinet. Um, maybe spray it with a bit of Nimbus grey. Yeah, it's probably. Uh, Good colour to spray it maybe, I don't know. Um, anyway, yeah, so I'm gonna get them blasted and sprayed, then they can go on. Uh, yeah, just bits and bobs at the moment. Um, starting to look like a mini again. Um, next thing I think inside is probably seat mounts, carpets. Uh, I need to order some companion bin trims because the ones I've got are really manky. I did have one out somewhere, I can't find it. Um, yeah, I've got one somewhere. And I need to have a mass tidy up. Uh, I've got rubbish everywhere. Right, so uh, I've just blasted the uh, drive shafts and the sun visor things. So that's them all ready to be sprayed. So I've, I've actually been to Health Rods um, got some primer uh, because the they're actually useless down there. They, they they did a grey, but it was only in a hammered finish, which I don't obviously want for that. So I've just got this. This seemed like the closest colour to uh, what was on there originally. So um, I'll so I'm, but I need to prime them, um, which I'll do last thing today. Um, and then tomorrow I will put the top coat on. Uh, so yeah, so that's that. I've got to do that later. Uh, so I, I think one of the last videos I was talking about the um, switch panel bezels. Um, that was my original one, which is battered. That is the mini spares and Summerfords and PL minis. That's what they're selling, um, which is a big pile of poo. Uh, so I had a look on Facebook and some guy sold me this whole thing for £9, including postage. Uh, it's not mint, 
but it's um, probably 70% better than the one I've got. So uh, I'm happy with that. Happy to move forward. So yeah, so uh, I'll get that fitted uh, today and I've got to fit this. So uh, it's been vapor blasted by uh, Nick Rogers. Um, he's done whatever he needed to do inside there. Um, I had a bit of a conundrum with this um, cup plate, if you like, um, on a lot of the mini spares sites. Uh, it shows that the other way up, um, and I could not get that to fit over this piece here. Uh, it just wasn't. It didn't seem to want to fit. So I, was, I put. Uh, I asked some questions on Facebook. And they um and I think ninety five percent of people said that this is the correct way around, so it's all ready to go on. So I've greased in there. I've put grease in there. Um, I've refurbed the bracket. Um, I've got new bolts, new half moon rubber thing, uh, and a new um, rubber on the end. So first up, I'm gonna get that fitted, then make that to the um, bracket and gearbox. Um, and, 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 and I think, um, and then once I've sprayed the drive shafts and stuff, I'll obviously cover the mini um, before I spray. Uh, yeah, I've, I think I showed you everything else I did. Um, Bum ba -dum, bum 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 yeah um so once probably next weekend now once the drive shafts are dry i'll um uh get those fitted um i've got new rubbers and so on for them i've got new pot joints um which are there or oh, no sorry cb joints um yeah cv joints sorry um Pot joints were all were, were fairly new and on the car um, when the engine was done and it's got hardy spices anyway so um, so it means once they're dry next week I can take all this apart get the drive shafts on get all that connected um, and then I can get the exhaust manifold on carb um once i've actually got the um hubs and that back on i will then connect the brake pipes to the calipers um take this back out do all the connections um get all the brake lines connected then put that back in um and i think i'm then ready to fill up the brake line um and get them bled yeah and then i can start putting all the other bits around the engine oil cooler and all the other bits and pieces so i'll get this um fitted i'll just show you it done right um so that was um a lot more difficult <sighs> putting the remote thing in than I expected. Uh, so basically, uh, I put it all in, everything seemed fine. Um, and then um, the gears, it wasn't uh, wasn't locating in the right uh, gears. Uh, so I had to take it, I had to take all this apart, take it all off, and then tr it took me probably half an hour to get it all located underneath um so yeah that was a bit of a faff so luckily i didn't record that uh would have been embarrassing uh yeah so that's all back together now um it what because what it was doing it wasn't going that way uh no sorry it wasn't coming this way so and i couldn't get i couldn't line it up so um so basically the the connection in the actual gearbox or the diff housing or whatever it's called um had somehow knocked over that way or i'd left it in maybe i left it in gear 
or something when I put the uh, when I took it all apart. But anyway, yeah, it's all. Uh, goes in the correct gears now so um, yeah so that's that done um, bit of a nightmare um, things are never easy on a mini are they especially for me uh, so that's the drive shafts all done um, bu -bu -bu -bu. I had to put a new uh, sail clip on there and there and these are the uh, well you can see them these are the sun visor things, rods, clips, whatever. Um, they've actually come out really good. Um, and the color is actually pretty much what it was when it when I blasted it off. So, um, but that was with a rattle can, um, as you saw yesterday. Um, I know it wasn't originally that color, but it's the closest match to it and seemed to be all right. Um, because it's a rattle can, it says leave it two weeks before you do anything with it, so um, I'll leave that. Uh, what else was it? Oh, yeah, I've changed that over now. Uh, obviously, I found that. Um, so, right, yeah, so another issue I've got. So, with the switches, uh, it's not that one. With the switches, so we're looking at this. It's for my car, Mark 3S, Dynamo, Toggle, uh, uh, no, wrong page. Uh, yeah, uh, maybe I'm looking at the wrong thing. So I can't work out from the photos. I think that one is correct for the lights. But with the new loom on the wiper, I've got a, a black as part of it, but I don't, there's no connections for it. Um, and I need, uh, my, my, my photos I've got aren't clear on this switch. So I'm not sure if that is correct or not. So I need to look into that a bit further. And I've also got another earth here, which I'm not sure where that actually goes to because uh, comes out of the uh, steering column loom into this splitter which obviously picks up the heater um, and then it goes well oh, from I don't know yeah I'm on, not sure about that um, Need to investigate that one. So yeah, uh, that's about it on this one. Um, so next time I can, uh, I'll probably, not sure yet, probably take the hubs off, get the drive shafts in, and get it all built up. And then, I don't know, we shall see. See you on the next one, cheers.